Hi and welcome to the presets guide for Shadow Studio 2. If you just want to get up and running real quick with some different styles, we got them. First one is a long shadow. So you might notice that it's actually two copies of Shadow Studio. And if we turn off the first one, we can see, okay, so it's doing not really a long shadow, but a short shadow. And then the second one is basically perpetuating that even further. So this is a really long shadow. You combining two copies is just a more computationally efficient way to get a really long shadow. And you'll notice that if you move the top one, the bottom one is linked to via expressions and will mimic it. I've got a 1080 comp here. So if we drag that, you can, you'll see it's a really long shadow. No worries there. Our second preset is a long soft shadow. However, long shadows and soft shadows are both computationally expensive and this preset combines the two of them. So it is quite slow. Uh, you can probably get away with lowering the resolution a bit. Um, it just depends on your circumstances. I've just pumped these values really high to make sure in extreme situations you're getting good results, but um, you probably won't need it to be that pedantic. The next one we have is soft diffuse and that is similar to the default if we just check that there it's just a more low key version you'll notice we're starting at a lower opacity and then finishing at half opacity if you want to make this even subtler if that's a word more subtle um, i would suggest going with the opacity end and under compositing you'll see that it's offset a few pixels just to avoid that fringe there under the easing uh, it's very much eased all the sliders at 100 percent you can play around and get some different looking results with uh, with that and for our last one it is called stroke fine detail so if we apply it to solid fill text you might be wondering this looks like garbage and you'd be right it does look really bad uh, it's not designed for that. It is designed for strokes and fine details, infographics, text. Um, so we apply that here. You'll see that it's sort of like creating this offset look where we've got the text sitting in front and then there's a light source and the shadow is being projected onto a wall um, and it's quite distant. So you may wanna lower the distance, just depending, up to you. It's uh, very fine detail. So we've got the settings on high, the opacity start is zero. So that's sort of what is creating the um, offset look because the shadows samples start at zero and then end up being more visible as they go along. If we were to have some opacity at the start, you would notice that this is, gets pretty ugly pretty quick. So those are the presets we have now. Hopefully we'll be adding some more in the future. If you have a preset that you like, please submit it to us because we'd love to include it in these user presets. I'm sure you can come up with some cool looking um, styles because there's so many settings in Shadow Studio to really get nitty gritty and get some crazy looking results. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Check out our other videos and enjoy Shadow Studio.